Hi oh guys, Dane Sharp here for Channel C and I'm here with Luke Dickens. Most of you might remember Luke Dickens from 2008, Australian Idol, runner-up to Wes Car, but a lot of things have happened since then. How are you, champion? Mate, I'm well. How are you going? Mate, I'm really well. Killer show today. Um, the voice was a little croaky, but mate, it sounded absolutely brilliant. How'd yeah, you hold up? That, oh, mate, held up well. We pulled through another one. We had the flu there for a week. I did anyway, and, and uh, she's gone now. I've got a day off tomorrow, so I've got plenty of time to get over it. Great, so no chatting tomorrow, I reckon. Uh, no interviews tomorrow, so we'll get you now while the voice is still intact. So, yeah, mate, talk us through, uh, obviously most people know you from 2008, Australian Idol. Yeah. Um, absolutely brilliant to watch the rise and the whole story. What, what was the story from there? So, Well, we went independent. Like, I was, I didn't know whether I wanted to keep making music or whether I was going to go back shearing, you know. And uh, I went home for a little while, spent a bit of time with me boy. I had a little boy that was born on the show, right. of course. And then uh, Richard Branson's mob rang up and wanted us to go and sing a few for the launch of V Australia over in LA. So we went and did that, which was unreal, and I love the band that much and the music. And, you know, it was, wasn't was like Idol. It was, it was my show now, and I yeah. thought, you yeah, beauty. So we got back home and started writing. And here I am today. I've, I've released my album, Underdog, and... And I'm touring around with Amber and these guys, and it's just unreal, man. Great. Mate, it was a great show, and it was great to see you doing some of your own songs. I know an idol had to do a lot of covers and that sort of thing, but some of the songs there, mate, were great. Talk us to about maybe uh, the writing process. How, who did you write with, and how did those songs come about? I wrote with a couple of different guys. Lachlan Dolly was one. He's a pretty well-known keyboard player. He gets about, and he's real funky sort of feel, you know what I mean? So there's a, there's a track on my album that gets me in a bit of trouble every now and then. I won't say which one it is just yet, but I'm telling you, it's, it's a cracker. Also, Paul Green, I wrote a few with him. My favourite ones, actually. Okay. Paul's unreal, I love his style and everything, you know. Yeah. And another couple of blokes from, from Sydney, from Round Manly and that, Dan Jenkinson was one, awesome. and Kyle's Birtland. And they're just really talented people, mate, and they wanted to give me the time because they liked the way I sang, you know? Yeah. And so, you know, I drove to the south coast and I drove, you know, to Sydney because I was still living in Young yep. just to sit with these guys and write with them. Yep. And it was hard work. It was, you know, sometimes I'd get there off the highway and, you know, I've just been in a traffic jam and it's hot and I don't want to sit down and get all creative. I want to go and have a beer. <laughs> but, you know, we did. We worked at it. We worked at it and it really, really came good. That's great. And, uh, and the first single uh, you said is out on radio this week. Um, do you want to talk about the first single and how that came about? That's right, mate. Believe is out now. And I sat down with a guy called Dan Jenkinson and I said, I don't want to write another one about myself and about, about things that have happened in my life. Let's write a story about, you know, I don't know, he, he came to me with the music and we're just listening and I said, I just want to be an onlooker onto a story, you know, and... Like, songs write themselves. Once you get the music going, I think the lyrics kind of flow after that. They set a mood and then away you go. I believe it's about a workaholic that never had time to be in love and, you know, a travelling girl came through the pub one day and, and sort of made a believer out of him, you know, stole his heart. But um, the whole catch to that song is she doesn't stay with him, but, you know, that's still makes him sort of want to get out there and, and look yeah, for someone. Not work so much. So. That's it. Um, and, and talking about work, it is hard work. Um, and, and you obviously went from through the idle process and that sort of thing. And, and was it a big change coming off the show? Obviously a lot of people knew who you were. You had a le level of fame and then had to go straight back to Young. I, I guess everyone in Young knew you by then. Um, yeah, mate. What happened from there? Young was absolutely crazy. When I got back there, it was like... They thought I was Elvis, I think. <laughs> Sydney was all right. I'll go to Sydney to get away, you know what I mean? Because yeah. nobody nobody cares. There's always people walking around in Sydney that you might see on telly or whatever, and you'll get the odd fella come up and say good day. Yeah. But in Young, you couldn't sneak up the street at all, you know? Yeah. Yeah. People were just on me, and that was unreal. Like, yeah. just the support I got from back home, you know, I just never would have dreamed about it. And uh, they're a great town too. When they want it, when they want want to put their name on something, like yeah. they they do it hard. You know what I mean? They really stamp it in there. So it was it was great. You know. Great. Plus we just had our little boy, and I guess that was the only hard part about it is that, you know, my little boy's mum sort of, that was her time. Yeah. You know. But yet the whole town wanted to be in on it. They were just like, wow, well, give us a look at him. Yeah. Oh well, you did so well, oh, and you owe me so much money and votes as well. <laughs> and you know, I was cool with that because I was kind of sure. trained up while I was on the show. But yeah. she wasn't. It was hard for her. Yeah, sure. But other than that, it's it was all great support. Cool. And how's the little boy now? He's good. 
He's an unbelievable man. He, uh, you put him down here and it'd take him 20 seconds to be at the top of that hill. <laughs> he's nearly two now and, and he's just fit as a fiddle. Oh, that's great. He was three months premature, but, that's right. but now he's, he's, you wouldn't even know it. Okay. And you see Wes anymore? Any contact with Wes still? Yeah, I had Easter and Boxing Day with Wes. Like, I don't know why. We just, every now and then, we just say, Oi, you want a beer? And we do it. Yep. And we do it in a big way. But, you know, and he's writing some new great things as well. He's over in yep. Nashville at the moment. Okay. Just getting on his on his second one. But sure. we don't have a lot of contact these days. But okay. I'm always somewhere and he's somewhere else, you know. It's a busy industry to be in. So, um, any plans to go to Nashville eventually or? Well, mate, I think so. We're uh, we're trying it. This album that we've got now, we've got a couple of contacts overseas, and we're going to see what they think about it. And you know, yeah. go and play to the unis and things like that first right. before we worry about trying to punch Nashville. But but it's uh, definitely definitely being spoken about. We've got a Luke Dick and CD to give away. What we're going to be doing is come up with a keyword. Luke's been racking his brain thinking of the keyword, and the keyword is. It took me ages to think of this one, mate. I reckon I reckon it'll be underdog. How'd you, that? how'd you come up with that, mate? <laughs> I don't know, but it's kind of catchy. <laughs> Great, so the key word is underdog. Thanks so much. Today was a killer show, matey, and uh, look, we really appreciate you coming down and, and, and to these places and playing, and um, good luck with the new album. From what I heard, it's absolute killer, and uh, good luck with it. Thanks, Thanks Luke. Thanks very much, man. Good on you. No drama. Back to channelc.com.au.